And Marcus Conti reporting, you saw this? The left, the left went off the rails. Check this shit out. Bullying. The Me Too the movement against toxic sexual harassment. Masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? Is it? We can't hide from it. Sexual harassment is taking over. It's been going on far too long. We can't laugh it off. Who's the daddy? <laughs> what I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. Months, but she says it's a toxic And there will be no going back. Because we... We believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Smile, sweetie. Come on. To say the right thing. To act the right way. Not cool. Not cool. Some already are. In ways big. Yo, men. And small. I am strong. I am strong. But some is not enough. It's not how we treat each other, okay? Okay. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. Wow, holy shit. I can't believe what I just watched, man. God damn, men, they're such goddamn pigs. Goddamn pig men. God damn, I'm gonna go cut my testicles off and 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 get rid of them, man. Get I'm gonna go buy my I'm gonna go to Thailand and buy a vagina. Uh, <laughs> you get a vagina there, you know. You could do that, right, guys? You saw that shit, man? That's like disgraceful, right? You guys are pigs, man. You guys are fucking cunt sniffing pigs. Right? You just you're chasing after pussy, man. You guys are fucking dogs. God damn it, man. Fucking disgraceful. Really, man. Go 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 to Thailand, man. Save five grand. Get go to Thailand and get yourself a pussy. You get one over you get one between your legs, cut your dick off, get one between your legs, and you can put one over here too. You get extra one. I get two two pussies instead of a dick. Uh, what's going on here, man? This is shit is, is out out of control, right? right? So so a man, what how are people supposed to meet and greet, right? You go to a club and you can say, oh, by the way, I'd like to stick my, my, I'd rather, I'd like to stick my cock in your ass. Do you, would you like to come home with me so I can take care of some of that? Or, you know what I mean? Like, like, what is the, what are the rules of engagement now? You're not allowed to touch anybody. You're not allowed to whistle. Wow, man. You're not allowed to say, damn, shit is hot. You're not allowed to, what do you not, what are you allowed to do? What is the, a woman can do that. A woman can come over. A woman, a woman. Right in a bar, can walk over to a man and grab his te- stick, stick her hand in his pocket, push his wallet aside, grab his dick, and say, "Come home with me." Right, and that would be considered wow, the fucking guy got lucky. Right, <laughs> that's how men would view that. But a woman, you're not even allowed to look in a woman's direction unless, and that, and now there's something, something terribly wrong with that situation. My my grandmother, right, my old Italian grandmother. Uh, this is a true story, right? She used to say, like, she would she would see, you know, she would see like the the the, the sheer number of girlfriends that I would have over, over you know, because I, I was fucking, hey man, I was a good looking dude, man. I had long hair, big bright blue eyes. I mean, I'm a mess now because I'm in my fifties, but at the time, man, I was a I was a hot I was a hot item, right? I was a rock star, fucking singing in a band, fucking, you know what I'm saying, right? And 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 I was getting some I was getting some some trim, you know. And my grandmother would, would always say, well, what happened to that other girl? And I would say, ah, they're all crazy, Grandma. They don't know what they're doing, right? And she would say, mm. she, she, would, she looked at the situation and said, women, and this is a quote. She said, <laughs> quoting my grandmother, she said, women don't know what they want today. I said, you're right. They don't. They want, they want you to, they want to compete for your job, and they, want to hold, and they also want you to hold a door open for them. While they're doing it, while you're, do, while they're, you know, you know what I'm saying, and uh, I think that um, it's it's sad when you see commercials like this. This is a, this is propaganda to uh, basically divide the sexes, right? 
Remember what Elvis Costello in that song said? If there's, oh no, Joe Jackson, excuse me, said if there's a war between the sexes, then there'll be no people left. Eh, you know, there's some truth to that, right? They're fucking, all the Illuminati people, right? They, they keep saying they want to reduce the world population. That's a good way of doing it, right? Have the have the women, have women locking up men, right? And you know, and Lord knows anybody who's ever had anything to do with child support, you know, it's it's brutal on the men. Woman, forget about it. It's almost impossible for a woman to have to pay child support, really. But the man, the man could be in jail, and they'll they'll still ring up his his, uh, they'll ring up his bill. You know, he'll they'll take away his driver's license, his passport, force him, right? So I, I, I look at that and I say, damn, this, you know, what is what are the proper rules of etiquette? You know, when I was a kid, I mean, I don't I don't really know how to how to how to really speak about this. But I remember as a kid, it wasn't unusual, you know, to, to grab a girl's ass. I mean, that wasn't that wasn't the worst thing you could have done. I mean, you could get slapped for that. Right, but it, it's not a crime, you know. They, they they're criminalizing this stuff and demonizing this stuff. What, what are we supposed to do? All be just robotic, androgynous beings? A man can't be a man. A woman can't be a woman. I mean, wh- where do we draw the line on on these sorts of things? Right, you know, it, it's not it's not about. I mean, we should be allowed. Anybody should be allowed to express themselves any way they want. If I want to wear a pink dress and ponytails and run down the street, you know, with half my ass out, which you see all over Manhattan on certain times of the year at certain parades and certain celebrations, you know, there's there's men with big hairy chests running around in tutus. Who cares? Right? What do I give a shit? I don't care. It's nothing. It's no entertainment for me. I find it funny. Right? I used to go. To the, when I lived in downtown Manhattan, I used to go to the gay parade all the time. The, the gay pride parade um, uh, down 6th Avenue, turns on Christopher Street. That was the funniest, the, the most entertaining parade that I have ever seen, right? I mean, that was like, they've toned it down a bit. Like, they, they had, I remember this one, I mean, I remember I was hanging out with this guy, right? And we were watching it, and this fucking, you know you know how, like, the, the, the uh, floats come down the block? Right? You know, there's a big float, right? In the gay parade, they had the float. Right? It was on the back of a truck, and it was nothing but mattresses. Right? This is fucking mattresses, right? Beds, and it was these gay guys simulating ass sex, just like 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 rolling in the hay on the fucking rolling down the street, fucking each other's asses, right? You know, and you, when you see something like that, you say, you know, all right, it's it's freedom of expression. You know, is it vulgar? Is it? Is it uh, obscene? In, in my view, it's no. It's funny. Uh, it's, it's high humor, right? Uh, but that's men on men. Men can be men, right? Is that is that what that is? What if that was? But now we have we're in a situation where everything is everything is is discrimination. Everything is offensive. Everything is grounds to, you know, to uh, to, to 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 drag people into discrimination courts and. And, and legal battles and, and employment problems and, you know, and, and this, this shit's got out of control. And here you go, a major company, Gillette, you know, putting that shit out there like that is a, it's a sad day. It's a sad day for, uh, you, you tend to wonder what the motive is. Is it really, is the higher motive really to divide the sexes? You know what I mean? Is it really, is that really what it is to make children afraid of their to make men, to make women hate men, men fearful of women, and the children fearful of the man, and empower the woman. Is that all really, is there any motive for that to, to occur? I, I don't know. I mean, that's 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 a little deep. But it, what what is the fact is you got this commercial or whatever running on television, right? I found it on YouTube. I certainly didn't see it on TV. Someone told me about it. Marcus Conti reporting.